It's time to meet the starters for race 10. Number one, Sporty Nate, is owned by Angie Ogden of Felton, Delaware, and south of the tracks racing of Dr. William G. Hunter and Mark and Diana Hunter of Edwards, Illinois, trained by Brett Ballinger, the driver, Ron Marsh. Number two is Flash Pickens. Flash Pickens is owned by Mary Alice and Tom Tetrick of Jeff, trained and driven by Tom Tetrick. And there's Flash Pickens now on the television monitors. Number three, Lucky Image, is owned by Kenneth Hughes of New Windsor, trained by Julie Austin, the driver, Andy Miller. Number four is Rappin' Banjo, owned by Donald James of Albion and Brandy Malloy of West Salem, trained and driven by Pat Malloy, Jr. Number five, R.J. Honor, owned by Willie Jones of Jackson, Mississippi, trained by Michael Rogers, the driver, John David Finn. Number six is Peaceful, owned by Jeff and David Driscoll of Sherman, Illinois, and Evansville, Indiana, trained by Carrollton native Jeff Driscoll. The driver is Rick Schrock. Number seven, T.J. Force, owned by Janet Emerson of Golconda here in southern Illinois, trained by Harley Emerson, the driver, Fred Finn, Jr. Number eight, Fox Valley Jacob, is owned by Bobby Dexter of Paducah, Kentucky, trained by Roy Finn, the driver, Michael Osting. Number nine, Macri, is owned by Charles Wolf of Harvard, trained by Charles, driven by Dave McGee. And number 10 is Black Oliver, owned by Larry Breed of Stockton and Benita Simmons of Springfield, trained and driven by Tom Simmons. Post time in only two minutes on the nightcap at DuCoin. They are at the post, and the gate is rolling for the 10th and final race here at DuCoin. Folks, again, we're so glad you could join us these last two nights for the first night racing in 81 years of the DuCoin State Fair. We told you 71 last night. We were wrong. It's 81 years of this fair, and here they come for the 10th and final event on the Tuesday card. County Fair Challenge for sophomore pacing Colts and Geldings. They are off and pacing. There goes Black Oliver gunning out from the far outside, but Lucky Image is right there, and Sporty Nate has speed down toward the rail, and Sporty Nate moves up to get the lead into the first turn by nearly two lengths. Lucky Image goes second, Black Oliver third. Flash Pickens settles against the rail in fourth. Rappin' Banjo is fifth. Peaceful is sixth up on the outside, moving around RJ Honor in seventh. Then TJ Force, Fox Valley Jacob, who is next to last, and Macri trails the field, 11 lengths off the leader. 29 and 4 for the opening quarter and here comes Black Oliver 29 and 4 not a fast pace at all for this bunch that's why Black Oliver is going to move up and get the lead and he takes over by a length Sporty Nate is second by a length and a half Lucky Image is third by three and a half lengths and then Flash Pickens is fourth Rap and Banjo is racing in fifth Peaceful is sixth as they approach the half mile mark followed by Fox Valley Jacob who moves up seventh on the outside of RJ Honor who is eighth and then Macri is ninth racing nine lengths off the lead followed by TJ Force and last the half in 59 and one so Black Oliver leads it by just over a length at the entry to the far turn lucky image moves up second by ahead sporty Nate now fights back down toward the rail from third another length and a half back to peaceful then Flash Pickens and Fox Valley Jacob followed by Macri and Fox Valley Jacob and Macri both have some seven lengths to make up and Black Oliver has the lead by two lengths on Sporty Nate past the three quarters in 127 and two. Lucky Image has leveled off in third. Black Oliver opening up here on a three length lead to Sporty Nate in the second position. Then Lucky Image is third. Fox Valley Jacob and Peaceful are toward the outside with a lot of ground to make up. Macri still far back. Final eighth mile. Black Oliver chased by Sporty Nate three lengths between them though the rest have ground to make up and no time to do it black oliver wins it by nearly three lengths over sporty nate second and how about flash pickens rallying through a crowd of horses for third in 154 and one In DuCoin's 10th race, number 10, Black Oliver finished Jones. first. Tom was a multiple driving titleist there in the East Moline area. That's where he met Benita. Now they base their stable in Springfield. 
Tom originally out of Odessa, Missouri, out near Kansas City, where at age 17, according to the U.S. Trotting Association bio on Mr. Simmons, he got a job delivering hay, delivered hay to one Jeffy Specker, who had a stable of harness horses. Mr. Specker liked what he saw, liked Tom's work ethic, put him to work jogging horses, taught him to train harness horses, and now the rest is history. And the results official for the 10th race at DuCoin, the 10-1 exacta, $7.80. We'll have the trifecta for you in just a moment. Folks, into the winner's circle, owned by Larry Breed and Benita Simmons. Tom Simmons, the trainer driver. How about a hand for number 10, Black Oliver? Pena, Illinois native Karen Ambling of the Illinois Department of Agriculture will make the official trophy presentation, and Karen always helps us with our stakes and events coordination at the state fairs at both Springfield and DeCoin each year. And Karen, we appreciate all of that extra effort you do that never gets mentioned on the microphone. We mention it now because we do appreciate it. Grab a quick word with Tom Simmons. Tom, 10 holes not a real good place to be. Did you have any concerns coming into this race with this horse? Well, it's always a, a bad place to be the 10 hole, but I uh, kind of looked over there and seen a hole, and he's got a little speed if you need to, so worked out good. You've been coming to DeCoin for a number of years. I'm going to ask you that question we've asked all week. Do you like night racing at DeCoin? Yeah, I think it's nice. It's not The heat is not as bad, and uh, hopefully we get a few more people out here. So That'll work. Folks, another hand for our winning driver, Tom Simmons. The rundown is next. 